OPEC is pumping out more oil than planned to meet soaring demand in China, Eastern Europe and the United States. Oil prices soared to $55 a barrel last month, but they've fallen by more than $10 a barrel since then. Well, this is where oil prices ended up on the markets last night. In London, North Sea oil rose by nearly a dollar. Brent crude up 98 cents a barrel to $39.67. In New York, U.S. light crude jumped 59 cents to $42.53. Energy analysts say OPEC could cut oil production by as much as 1 million barrels a day. Dealers say demand for oil could also rise next week because they're expecting a cold snap in the United States. People who live in London are twice as likely to suffer from identity for fraud, that's when someone takes your bank account or other personal details and uses them to steal money or goods. The credit reference company Experian says 100,000 people were affected last year. The number of cases of identity fraud jumped by 29%. It cost companies £1.3 billion. Pounds. One in ten people have no insurance for their homes. Another one in five say their homes may be underinsured because they don't have the time to work out the full value of their belongings. The insurance company Zurich warns this leaves people open to financial ruin if they're burgled or suffer from a fire or flood. People in the southwest of England are least likely to have insurance cover. Now, on the markets, uh, shares here in London down yesterday because of the rise in oil prices yesterday. Also because American shares were lower while London was still open for business. American shares dipped at the start of their trading day after an unexpected rise in the number of people claiming unemployment benefit for the first time. Jobless claims growing by 357,000 when the markets were actually expecting a fall in that number. So, FTSE 100 down 15 at the end of the day, 4,688. Uh, on the uh, markets in the States, so the US market ended the day uh, higher after a revival during the course of the day. Uh, the Dow Jones up by 58, the Nasdaq up by 3, boosted by talk of a merger between the telecoms companies Sprint and Nextel, and also higher sales forecasts from Procter & Gamble. Price of gold, we checked it yesterday, it was down sharply, yesterday it was up by around 35 cents a troy ounce. The pound is doing this this morning, worth $1.91, the euro worth $1.3280. Remember, of course, that the bigger these numbers are, then the weaker the dollar. So these smaller numbers here today means the dollar has strengthened a little overnight. Uh, traders saying that rise in the dollar, a good opportunity to take profits. And as ever, uh, what happens on the currency markets is one thing, what you get at the Bureau de Change is quite another. The pound worth $1.84 this morning, one euro and 38.